Yo, what's going on? So you're joining me out here today again in New Zealand. We're at Hampton Downs, which is the drift track, and they have a very cool event on today called Woundfest Chapter 4, hosted by Wholesome World Fam. So today is like a really grassroots event. It's like legitimately just a track day. There are no food stands or anything else going on. Just track cars and grassroots cars and street cars out here drifting. I've had a look around. There are some really cool cars here today. There's one JZX. That's it. So I'm gonna let you know now. There's one JZX. Everything else is Sylvia's. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so let's start with the car that I came in today, bro. Jeez. So bang, here's the car that I came in today. And this ends Sylvia S13 SR20 DET. And my, it's my friend's car. He has an R33 uh, wheels on it. And he has a license plate launder because he is an accountant. So you should get what that means. But yeah, this car started off life with a CA18 DE and it's been fully transplanted with a five speed and a SR20 DET. So it is real nice, especially the two tones. It just looks real good, set up real nice. Doesn't rub or anything like that. It's nice. Let's uh, get a little bit closer. Let's show you around a little bit. So got the uh, brown interior. Look at all the stickers. He used to have a JZX at Ibisu. But yeah, this car is nice and set up. Good, I like it. And then next to that, yeah, we have an S14 Koki right here with the license plate that says low toy because it is quite low to the ground. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I assume this one, let's have a look, see if we can see an intercooler. Uh, no intercooler, so it will be a non turbo this one, but it has Ganadors. And if you look at the back, it actually has the little uh, light as well that loads of cars in Japan have just for banner. And then next to that, we have an Alteza called Lower on the license plate. And uh, this one actually has a Jimmy Oaks sticker just there as well. Oaks Garage, which is cool. And then next to that is another Alteza with license plate OK LOL. And look at the different front bumpers on both of these Altezas. Looking quite nice. So yeah. There's another Arteza just over there. So the drifting is taking place over here on the club circuit. And um, everyone's parked up on the left-hand side from grassroots cars to some pro cars to some track-only cars. But yeah, so it's just a really chill, chill day. Nothing else really going on. Look at this little uh, Volkswagen Caddy van just there. It's actually, this is bringing me back to my UK days. I'm saying when your boy was in London. We have another S14 just there. Some more cars coming in. Look at that, bruv. That's cool. Sees garage one, number 14. Yeah, everyone's uh, everyone's rocking Sylvia's, I believe. It's a bit different. Your boy definitely likes JZX's. But here's that S14 just there, looking kind of nice. There you go, a little stagia wagon. That's cool. That's very cool. Stagia wagon with a license plate, JDM wagon. You know what I'm saying? And then next to that, we have a A86. Completely stripped out track car, which is cool. So there's another Arteza of the last plate, Tio. Next to that, we have an old school Corolla, a KE70, I believe. Then here we have uh, MX5. I'm saying it looking kind of nice. Unfortunately, I had a little tap on the fence today. And here we have 86 Fighters A86 SR20. You know, everyone loves this car and your boy goes super hard, fam. Look at that, bro. That's nice. That is real, real nice. And next to that, we have a S13. Yes, G. <laughs> we got S13 just here, going hard. You know, your boy's repping the uh, diamond sticker. And then next to that, we have an FC RX7. That's cool, man. It's like proper old school, sort of like wavy style kit. It's nice. Then next to that, we have another S14 just here. Looking kind of chill. So right now it's uh, lunchtime. So everyone's actually stopped drifting and they're probably gonna go up to the top where the cafe is. But yeah, it's just a really chill, chill day for people just to get some laps in. You know what I'm saying? They host these uh, once a year. So this is the fourth year they're hosting it, I believe. So yeah, it's just a really cool, chill, chilled out day. Nothing crazy going on. Here's another S14 just here. 
probably running a SR20 of some sort. It's got a cage in it as well. Yeah, still got the interior. No, it's set up real nice, bro. Got some bucket seats. No, it's still going good. Yeah, still got the SR20 just with a aftermarket turbo on it. It's nice. They bring it around here. We have a 180 SX on some rays. Tucking tire in the rear. Look at that. So let's bring it around to the front. It's got a sunroof as well. Yeah, still full interior. Just matching grid uh, recliner seats. And yeah, just the SR20 low mount turbo and unsure of what the turbo is. But yeah, bruv. It's rolling fam, it's nice. And over here we have an S14 and a Millennium Jade color. Looking real nice. Oh, before we miss it, there's a JZX81 just there. Yes. Yeah, it's got a little uh, rear wiper delete. It's got the similar sort of uh, hands that you use for low origin. Yeah, set up real nice again, matching brids again. One is a bucket, the other one is a recliner. There you go. Wholesome World Wound Fest. Yeah, bro, it's nice. This one's actually street registered as well. So you probably drove it here. And here's another S14. So many S14s here today, it's wild. So here's a Thrash Racing uh, driver's seat, bucket. Uh, the rear's been stripped out and he has a cage, half cage in the rear. So in New Zealand, you can run a half cage uh, on the road legally. Um, you just get it certified. But if you have a full cage and you need like a lot of other things. But yes, here is the one, or well, I guess it's one of the two JZX's out here today. JZX90 Mark II fan. Cruising. This car is sick. Non VBTI 1J. Still rocking the twins. He unfortunately broke his bumper while drifting. But yeah, bruv. Look at that. It's nice, bruv. I like it. Just like every other JZX, the rear's been stripped with a full cage in it, a bolting cage with door bars. Yeah, bruv. It's nice. It's sick. It looks good. It looks real good. I like it. Next to that, we have a R32. This one is RB20, still doing its thing. But yeah, it's nice, bruv, I like it. This little kit on it. I think maybe he's even taking his front bumper off or it, it broke. There's another 180SX, similar to the other one that we saw on the Rays. This one's also on Rays, just different Rays. <laughs> it's got a sunroof as well, matching brids. One's a bucket for the driver and the other one is a reclinable for the passenger. Full roll cage with the actual pieces cut out for the roll cage to go into it, which is really cool. Yeah, half cage. Nice. And if we bring it around here, we have another Alteza. I believe it's a RS200. I think that's what has that front bumper. Again, with another Jimmy Oaks sticker, which is cool. Yeah, it's nice. Has the uh, these lens covers too. That's cool. And then here we have like a stock Sylvia S15 Spec S. Looks like it just came out of the factory, bro. It's like stock everything. Oh, there is a S13 just there. Kind of burst style S13. But yeah, this car looks like it just came out of the factory. <laughs> it's cool, man. I like it. It's nice. And if we bring it around, here we have something that is super rare. A31 Sephiro, you never see them around anymore ever, bro. Yeah, look at this thing. A31 Sephiro, I think it's RB25. He has Ganadors as well, some work wheels. Yeah, still a full interior. And yeah, man, it's nice. It's doing, doing the job. And I believe we have one more car over here in the corner. We can see that S13 there. Super low to the ground. Still on um, four stud. Look at that. Look how low that is, bro. That's cool, another two turn one similar to my friend's one. Yeah, manual as well. Oh, big entry there by that R32 four door. Yeah, it's nice. And then we have another 
S13 just here. This one's more of a pro car, it looks like. Still running on SR20. Yeah, but now let's take a closer look at that burst inspired S13 over here. Looks kind of nice still. Very much set up for, for Mayheim, it's cool. Bring it around. Yeah, man, that's real nice. Things part of the go go boys. So that's really, really cool, bro. I like it. All right, let's quickly see if we can catch some big entries by the boys. You get me? Some big entries by the boys. Yo, that was sick, fam. But before I forget, a few more cars have come in that we haven't seen yet, and a couple of special ones. So let me show you them real quick before your boy jets off. This is the one car I didn't show you before, the R32 four-door. People in New Zealand will know this car as Wabaki. Nice little raise, nice and low, nice kit. Popping off, bruv. I like this car a lot. It's real nice, fam. Still got the full interior. I think got the roll cage around the interior as well. Bro, it's banging. It's nice. You know what I'm saying? It's real good. The uh, GTR front as well. Yeah, hard. And there's one more special car as well. Let me show you that right now. All right, this S14 here is a special one as well. It's Project Koki on Instagram or Ambition Works, man. This car was actually his, his daily driver in uh, Japan when he lived there. And then he did a massive road trip around Japan in it as well. It's like been to Abisu, Bihoku, um, probably Mehan and other tracks as well. And then now he's imported it when he moved back to New Zealand and now he brought it down here to the drift day as well, bruv. So yeah, fam, just a SR20, I'm not quite sure on the turbo setup, but it's nice, it's good, it does the job. And then the other special car I want to show you is just over there. Well, two of them actually. One is this JZX81, which I didn't give you a closer look at, so I'll give you a closer look at it now. Should have the uh, non-VVTi 1J in it. Yeah, but, oh, it's actually got a VVTi 1J. Okay, cool. It's got a VVTi 1J Z GTE with a precision turbo on it. So these ones can either come as a JZX81 or a MX81, I believe, and come with the 7M GTE engine, if I'm not mistaken. But this one actually had a VVTi swap, which is cool. Real nice. Yeah, still got the full interior doing its thing. Bruv, like it. But this car here is the different one. And I think the license plate might actually give it away for this particular vehicle. 1JZ. So this E46 has a 1JZ in it, bruv. Can you imagine? Especially with the uh, widened rear quarters and everything. Yes, thank you, brother. He saw me filming and he's bringing it over. There we go. Yes, this is it. The 1JZ GTE inside the BMW E46 Purist, eat your heart out. Right. Is there any, any anything else people should know about this car? I've always liked E46s. Yeah. I um, always wanted like an M3 street car and then yeah. wanted to build a drift car and wanted something reliable that makes good grunt. And 1J just kind of made sense. Cool. Is it, is it an M3 base or just the E46? It was a 328. Yeah. 328 um, base. So I mainly just did the M3 guards just for bigger wheel clearance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then. I've got the M3 get drags 420G six speed to go on it next. Yep, yep. So be, it's running a, a BMW ZF box at the moment. Oh yeah. Um, from a like a five series diesel. Yep. But it's fucking does it's, the it's job. Been, honestly sweet, like it's been yeah. <laughs> super noisy. Um, input shaft's pretty tired. Yeah. And guess yet, but I've done 15 days on it, it hasn't blown yet, so. And it's all road legal, right? Yeah. It's not certified just yet, but um, after this event, I'm going to get all certified. Yeah. yeah. I usually drive it to the track and drive back. It's oh, yeah. more on a red road, but... Yeah, um, <laughs> that's the job. So... Uh, I don't reckon anyone would pop the hood and notice what the difference is. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Toyota badge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. Next like 350 kilowatt, tuned by JT. Yeah. Haltech. Um, does the job. SLR Angle. Yeah. US company. 
Um, just stock Which rear so end. Haven't broken an axle, haven't broken a gearbox yet. Sounds good, bro. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, awesome. It's a pretty good car, man, honestly. Sweet. Like, it's, it's been super reliable. I haven't really had any majors at all, so. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. No worries, Appreciate man. it, bro. Yeah, so that was a mad one still. That was sick checking out all these cars. It's a very different, you know what I'm saying? They like to do a lot more Sylvia's here as opposed to Japan where it's more JZX's. And that 1J E46 was really cool as well. Real nice swap done right. Everything looks factory as well. It was dope, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, that's me from here. You know what I'm saying? It was a good day. Hopefully I'll catch some other drift events or maybe even do some spotlights on a couple of these cars in the future. But yeah, like I said, if you've got a cool car in New Zealand, hit me up. If you need some Kazama Auto parts, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Your boy will hook you up. But yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, do all that jazz. And your boy will catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>